Are you preparing for GATE 2023 but are still thinking where to start from? Start early with the correct approach and know how. We are coming up with a new session for all the students who are appearing in year 2023. So let me just highlight you some of the key features of this program. So the first one is it's a self-paced course. So you will get direct access to all the sessions by topics curated by our expert mentors. Secondly, it includes diverse live sessions. So I can confidently say that whatever you learn through the self-learning outcomes will be summarized and recapped in the live sessions taken by our mentors. And lastly, the most important key highlight of them all is the syllabus roadmap for your success in GATE 2023. Apart from these, we also have live doubt solving sessions and quizzes and a bonus score boosting session. So geeks, you'll have the advantage of having content round the clock. Every year, lakhs of engineering aspirants go that extra mile to prepare for this tough examination. So register yourself and get started to crack the gate exam. Are you preparing for GATE 2023 but are still thinking where to start from? Start early with the correct approach and know how. We are coming up with a new session for all the students who are appearing in year 2023. So let me just highlight you some of the key features of this program. So the first one is it's a self-paced course. So you will get direct access to all the sessions by topics curated by our expert mentors. Secondly, it includes diverse live sessions. So I can confidently say that whatever you learn through the self-learning outcomes will be summarized and recapped in the live sessions taken by our mentors. And lastly, the most important key highlight of them all is the syllabus roadmap for your success in GATE 2023. Apart from these, we also have live doubt solving sessions and quizzes and a bonus score boosting session. So geeks, you'll have the advantage of having content round the clock every year. Lacks of engineering aspirants go that extra mile to prepare for this tough examination. So register yourself and get started to crack the gate exam. Hello everyone, welcome to the uh, Geeks for Geek Gate channel. In this session, we are going to talk with AIR21 Tathagat. Uh, who actually get AI, AIR21 in GATE 2022. We will try to know okay, uh, uh, about okay, his day, uh, one day in his life. We will talk, try to explore that. We will talk about his strategy, his plans, uh, how actually he gets such a good rank. We will, uh, uh, to, we will try to know all of that thing. Maybe that help us while our own GATE preparation journey. Okay, so without wasting time, let me call to Tathagat. Hi Tudhagat, welcome to our channel. Hello sir, hello. How are you? I'm fine. How, how about you? I'm sorry? How about you? How are you? Oh yes, sir. I'm, I'm also fine. Um, and thank you for this opportunity. Uh, thank you sir, thank you. for getting AIR21 in GATE 2022. Thank you sir. Okay. Uh, so, okay. Uh, so let's start with okay your brief introduction to the audience. Will you please introduce yourself to the audience? Um, sure, sir. I'm Tathagato De, and I've secured All India Rank 21 in Gate Computer Science 2022. And uh, currently, I'm in my final year of BTEC in Computer Science and Engineering, um, and I'm pursuing it from Government College of Engineering and Textile Technology. Uh, it's a college in uh, West Bengal, in the suburbs of Kolkata. Okay. Okay, Dagat, you are in final year of your study right now. Yes, sir. Okay, that's great to uh, see that. Okay, many students actually prepare for the GATE exam while BTEC itself. So, uh, while studying, you were preparing for the GATE exam. Yes, sir. So, okay, uh, one thing, uh, this thing I would like to know first of all, okay. Uh, uh, how you prepare your GATE exam while pursuing the BTEC? Means you were, how you manage college and B uh, college and your GATE preparation all together. Well, first of all, I started pretty early. I started uh, two years back, so I had much time. And uh, uh, comparing with uh, college programs, there is assignments, uh, quizzes, presentations, semesters. On I used to uh, manage the time for my uh, completion of each subject carefully. That is, in between the pressurizing moments, we all have uh, 
the, all the six months of the semester is not of the same pressure level. So I used to uh, put the subjects in proper time gaps. I used to complete them. And also there have been uh, some internals and all when I didn't get that much marks. I, I mean, I, everyone, I guess everyone has to sacrifice some of them. And uh, that's how I try to do that stuff. And also my friends helped me a lot with assignments because I didn't really get that much time for each and every one. So, so okay. Uh, I would like to know, okay, to with whom actually you first shared your score? You get AI at 21. So, who are the first person you call? Uh, definitely my parents. I mean, uh, the thing is, we all know that there is there is a, a trend in gate examination. That is, the results always gets out uh, the previous day or, or much earlier than the actual schedule time. So I was uh, with my laptop from uh, 16 March evening. That, that any moment now, the results can be out, and uh, the final answer sheets were uh, were out by the evening, like by 7 of 16 March, 20 p.m. So I was waiting, like clinical results, or then waiting and waiting and waiting. Uh, I went to dinner with my phone getting refreshed by number of times, and like 11 around 11:30. Uh, finally, when I refreshed one more time and I, my picture came up on the screen, what was this? And then the results were out. Uh, I was shocked and uh, slightly, probably slightly screamed. And uh, my mom and dad were the first one to know about that. So they were happy. And then, then uh, my other family members and all. And uh, then my friends uh, who helped me in this. That's how it went. It was a nice moment. So how much score you were expecting at that time? How much rank you were expecting? And... Uh... Well, I, I definitely, I was expecting uh, somewhat uh, under 50, and but you know, not really 21, but definitely I was expecting somewhat under 50. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, uh, okay you people can also ask any question to Tathagat, okay? Uh, if, if you are preparing for a great exam, you can ask anything from Tathagat. Uh, we will take your query also. Meanwhile, let me share my screen. Uh, I want to share some glimpse of uh, Tathagat life actually Thagat journey in gate while he was preparing for the gate exam uh, that days let's remember look at look, look at those days uh, so let me share some pics with you people uh, let me open that Let me share my screen. I hope the screen is visible. Uh, Dasagat, can you confirm me? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, so Dasagat scored uh, AIR, get AIR 21 rank in GATE 2022. Uh, Dasagat, uh, what are you trying to show in this in this picture? Are you uh, uh, making afraid to afraid to the Gate 2023 aspirant or what? No, sir, not at all. But I would like to say that uh, the journey is a roller coaster. There is a hard work, but it's definitely interesting. Otherwise, koi itne sare books nahi par paega. It's definitely interesting journey. And baaki to the ye sare hai. Yahan pe sab kuch hai, copies hai, books hai, jo maine is journey mein use kiya. So, you three books you have read or you have kept it here for the sake of No sir, I tried to read it. different subjects and there are books. And some books I have seen, there are PIQ's books and other question practice books. So, these are all mixed up. And one or two books, there are core men in the algorithm, which no one can read. But there are some relevant topics that I have read. ओके okay, यहां से मेरे को एक गेट से रिलेटेड भी आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछना है जैसे कि आ, क्या हमें इतनी बुक्स पढ़ने की जरूरत है या खाली नोट्स से ही काम चल जाता है मतलब आपने वीडियोस देखी या फिर क्लासेस ली तो आपने नोट्स प्रिपेयर किए इज दैट नोट्स इज सफिशिएंट टू क्लियर द गेट एग्जाम और यू नीड टू गो थ्रू ऑल दिस बुक्स नो सर डेफिनेटली द डिफरेंस इज बुक्स नेवर रियली uh, enhance, enhances the breadth of your concept. Rather than notes. Jo, the only thing is the depth of your points. Pe. Otherwise, the notes are covered. So, 
ये बहुत लोग मिसगाइडेड होते हैं जस्ट लाइक टू से दैट कि नोट करना इंपॉर्टेंट है बिकॉज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन केस ऑफ गेट एग्जाम और एनी कम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू कवर ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स आपको सारे सब्जेक्ट्स कवर करने होते हैं उसके बाद आप डेप्थ के बारे में सोच रहे हो कि इस सब्जेक्ट में और जानना है और और एंड वी नीड टू मतलब एनहेंस योर नॉलेज डेप्थ ऑफ दैट सब्जेक्ट लेटर बस कंप्लीट ऑल द टॉपिक्स के ऊपर सो नोट्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नोट्स पी आई क्यूज एंड अदर जो एम के बुक्स होते हैं तो सारे ये सारे बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है उसके बाद देन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू परसू सम डेप्थ इन सम फ्यू सब्जेक्ट देन डेफिनेटली यू कैन गो फॉर दैट मैंने भी कुछ थोड़े सा हर सब्जेक्ट में नहीं थोड़े बहुत सब्जेक्ट है यहाँ पे जो बुक्स होता है वो बेसिकली मोस्टली सी मतलब प्रोग्रामिंग जिला स्ट्रक्चर एल्गोरिजम्स के है और टी ओ सी के है तो ये सब्जेक्ट जो है डिस्क्रिप्ट मैथ्स का भी है तो ये सारे सब्जेक्ट में मैंने बुक पढ़ा है लेकिन हर सब्जेक्ट में जरूरी नहीं होता है मतलब ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम में मैंने पूरा पढ़ा नहीं तो अदरवाइज जो नोट्स है वो सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है लेक्चर्स फॉलो करना होता है ओके नोट्स आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बट स्टिल आई आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क ओके कैन यू शेयर द नेम ऑफ सम बुक्स व्हिच यू थिंक दैट ओके दैट कैन बी यूजफुल व्हाइल प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द गेट एग्जाम सम बुक्स मे बी वेल यस डेफिनेटली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जो बुक्स है तो टीओसी में मैं मेंशन कर देता हूं टीओसी में पीटर लिंच पीटर लिंच इज वेरी वेरी गुड बुक अदरवाइज उलमैन और या उलमैन और सिफर आल्सो अवेलेबल बट दे हैव टू मच ऑफ देम never really necessary for gate exam so peter lynch is good if you want to practice the exercises of peter lynch that's enough and uh, mentioning in case of algorithms algorithms has uh, i mean the thing i mentioned previously ki uh, coleman has way too much of subject in uh, algorithm but the relevant topic that is asymptotic rotation let me say about asymptotic rotation or solving searching these topics the uh, coleman exercise can be very good to enhance your depth and if you can solve coleman exercise then definitely you can be sure that your algorithm depth is very good otherwise uh, Let me say or C मतलब प्रोग्रामिंग में तो पॉइंटर्स रिकर्शन के डेप्थ अगर आपको चेक करनी होती है तो बहुत सारी बुक्स अवेलेबल है लाइक कनेक्ट करके बुक है और भी बहुत सारी बुक्स है प्रोग्रामिंग में तो उनके पॉइंटर्स के एक्सरसाइज होते हैं वो अच्छे तो यू कैन यू कैन गो फॉर दैट और 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 ज़्यादा कुछ बुक्स तो नेसेसरी नहीं है मैंने जो था कि ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम और इनिशियल जो प्रोसेस थ्रेड्स का पार्ट होता है तो वहाँ पर थियोटिकल क्वेश्चन बहुत आते हैं आई सॉ कि आई फॉलो Uh, many lectures in that part, but still, in some test, uh, some some of the question used to come. Ki I, I don't know about that. Now, the process thread me. Itna itna theoretical concepts hai. Kuch na kuch question aayi jata hai bahar se jo ahi din na. So finally I decided ki this part to Galvin for later. So I I read that part, that initial part of Galvin. So I don't know if it enhanced my depth or not, but maybe I, it could have helped. Or otherwise, I don't think in any books are necessary for that. And, and yeah, for this part, I think can it was it. The only book I recommend, and everyone recommends, Kenneth Frozen. Okay, Frozen from Computer Network for Computer Network. Uh, no, I mentioned yeah, that that's very good, but I didn't study that. I mean, I mentioned uh, for discrete matter is Kenneth Frozen. Uh, sorry, uh, what I was speaking actually uh, yes, little bit loudly. Can you speak? Uh, yes, sir. I mentioned Kenneth Frozen for discrete mathematics. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, let me show you people little bit more glimpses from his life. Uh, I think this is your wall, actually, uh, your desk wall. So yes, you uh, you put the pictures on your wall from for, from IASC, IIT Bombay, and some courts. So mm, yes. I would like to know about them actually a little bit. Why you why you put these pictures on the wall like that? Well. Um... uh starting uh, starting after my i mean starting my preparation uh, when i when it it was already one or two months i saw that first time that i i'm losing some of the momentum and it's not really easy to keep up the speed and the passion equally well for months and months so like two months after starting my preparation i decided ki i have to find a way that ki every morning i get up and I get that much of passion for gate examination that i had like two months ago so that's when i i mean I I just thought what what I usually do. I mean, what I usually do to get that much of momentum, I, mean, I scroll through ISC, ITB, and some news articles of big packages and all, and and these things. So that's when I decided why don't I just cut them out and put on my wall, so I can see them every morning. So that's what I did, and um, it actually helped. Actually helped. Uh, initially, those days, just when I get up, I used to see. I mean, uh, every one of us, I guess. Um, we we all when we just sit on our desk at first we we are not really that much working at that moment we are just uh, rehabilitating ourselves with 
uh, the moment so when i just sit on my desk i look at this uh, wall and the screen at first uh, and see what is this and these are the pictures yes these are my uh, passions and ambitions so that's how it helped a lot so let me play this video of, uh, of uh, while your preparation you recorded this video let me share your uh, yes. this video with the audience Okay, so I made a few modifications to my book and apparently it came up like this. These quotes are really special to me. I really, really get charged up when I read them. Uh, that way. these six are really special. Tatagar, you paste all the, these pics all around your room. Uh, these do do you think these things really matters? Um, I don't know. It, it may not work for everybody. I mean, people are different. Their personalities are different. But uh, I, I, I think for me it worked. Because I I get motivated from them. I I get charged up when the, my uh, wall says that uh, I I need to get out of my comfort zone and work every morning that much. So uh, I think uh, it helped for me, but not really necessary for everybody. I mean, if if you if someone can, ge can generate his motivation uh, within himself, I guess that's the best thing. So let's suppose I I, I take this print out of of your pics and put I put that on my wall. Is that impact on me also? Uh, or I need to have my own. Uh, I mean, I need to check out my own uh, interest and uh, my own dreams, like that. Uh, yes, exactly. It, 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 I guess it's the only uh, thing that matters is what gets you going in the morning, in the morning or maybe late night. What gets you uh, going? So. That's what matters. My friend, also Akash Mondo, AIA 52, uh, his, his passion is about IIT Kanpur. So he has those pictures, uh, in his, not, not really on his wall, but he has those pictures with him. So uh, it, it's about the thing that gets you working. So you you, you, you paid the picture of IIT, IASC and IIT Bombay. Uh, why, why specifically interest in IIT Bombay and IASC? Uh, first of all, IIT. Uh, first of all, I, I have been in ISC campus uh, uh, once, and uh, I've been in the CSA department too. So it intrigued me a lot in the, the environment of IISC, those uh, those trees and all, and that, uh, that that breeze and air. Everything, everything pushes you uh, uh, up to the limit, and, and the department, everything is so perfect, and that that intrigued me a lot. And I thought, uh, yes, this is something that well, I may I may want to pursue. And talking about IITB, yes, IITB, in case of computer science, arguably IITB is uh, the best uh, IIT in India, arguably. Uh, so, and, and of course, everyone knows that if, uh, IITB computer science, their research works and their uh, programs and their projects, everything is uh, so, so nice. And uh, also the packages. And uh, that's why the ambition hits there. And, and I, I had those pictures. And, and also one thing that, uh, if if I get if, if someone gets IIT B probably he will get any IIT in India, so that that matters a lot and that's why I put those pictures. Like I, if I get IIT B everything is possible there. Okay, and uh, would you will you recommend to uh, get twenty twenty three aspirants to at least visit one of the uh, their favorite IIT in which they want to get admission? Will will you recommend is the, uh, is that is that will beneficial for them? Uh, as I said earlier, it depends upon your personality, how you interpret things. And uh, some people are there that uh, gets really motivated in, 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 uh, in enhancing or uh, seeing something physically. So uh, I guess I, visiting IIC uh, somewhat motivated me to pursue this. Uh, and uh, it may help a lot, but otherwise I, I won't say it's absolutely necessary because ultimately the thing you have to do is only possible at your study table, day after day, nights after night. So, uh, that the actual work happens there. So if you are right there, I guess everything is possible. Okay. And these are the, some of the quotes you mentioned. 
uh, you paste it on your wall. Uh, yes. Push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. Difficult roads lead to up, lead to beautiful destinations. Remember why you started. So you just find find out these codes somewhere, or you specifically uh, search the codes which suits your personality means um, your requirement, or you just yeah I, I, yeah I I mean I found them uh, I I mean I obviously see much more codes than these six, but I found these six much applicable to me and which motive intrigued me, motivated me, triggered me. So I just pasted them on there. Those ones which motivated me actually. Probably they go right with my personality. So these are the picks uh, while you you were preparing for the exams. These are your the uh, the quotes you pasted on the walls. The picture of IAC, IIT Bombay to to get you keep you motivated for such a long journey. Actually, uh, uh, so okay. How, I want to know. Okay, how many months you prepared for the gate exam? Um, so as I said, I I uh, started uh, two years back, and not really two years back. Uh, not not really two. I would say uh, one point five. Uh, just when in yeah, just when in the uh, probably August of two thousand twenty when we got to know that third years can sit for uh, uh, this way uh, this year when two thousand twenty one exam. Uh, that's when I really uh, started my journey more passionately. I didn't sit for that exam, but uh, it, it's one point five years. Ago. So this is a long journey. You want to say this is this is this uh, this is going to be a long journey. Yes, exactly. Yes. There are moments when when uh, you won't really have any more energy or uh, that much of momentum with you. Uh, so I, I guess these may help. I mean, you won't really start studying right that moment, but back of your mind, you will have that why 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 you are uh, working that much hard and what is, what is your ambition. So back of your mind, if you have that. At some point, you will really get back to your table again and do what you are meant to do. So uh, these courts actually were pushing you to go for such a long journey. Exactly, like uh, in some uh, some point when you are having a blank mind, not really doing anything or thinking anything, you are just sitting right there, and your your eye gets stuck on one of them, and that's when you feel that I, I know why I pasted them all, and I know what I have to do. Okay. And these are the, some of the picks. Okay, uh, life means uh, while you were preparing for the exam, uh, you have written there that okay, uh, these are some of the equations, uh, formulas you put on the board while preparation of the exam. Yes, uh, and many subjects are there like we see operating system, TOC, and this is maths. I can't see the equation, but many subjects are there different times. And board used to help me a lot. I mean. Studying each subject, each concept, I used to uh, uh, and write down some equations and do something with them. Uh, I couldn't really by heart those topics at all, so I get up on my board and markers and do something with them, try different ideas. I, mean, in the, I remember it's uh, probably readers write as problem of operating system, and I used to try different ideas like uh, manipulating with the uh, placements of the semaphore and how it works, and if I change them, what happens, and all. So I used to do, do those things. Okay, and uh, these are the quotes actually I like uh, from uh, from your collection. Uh, one of the most uh, the quotes which I like most is the "Nobody knows me, but everybody will." And uh, actually, my friend came up with that. When we were studying, my friend came up with that. He wrote it, and uh, it's, it's his quotation. But okay, I, I got the pick. These quotes are uh, min min uh, your own quotes. Uh, not really own this one. I mean, it's hard, uh, but my determination is harder. That that one is my own, but uh, nobody knows me. That one is my of my friend. His name is Vikanto Choudhury. His quotation. I used it. I'm really sorry for that. If you're watching. And what is this three two three? <laughs> I don't remember. I really don't remember. I don't remember. Probably I, I mark something with definitely with the gate, uh, gate topics and all something. I marked with them. I mean, I used to have different marks on my board. Like, uh, with my preparation strategies and, and timing management, I had to. Okay.
okay uh, uh, that was nice to see all that these quotes and, uh, and the things you pasted on your wall from your actual while your actual preparation while you you were doing actual preparation and uh, how you keep motivated yourself that was nice to see from your side actually you shared all these things uh, thanks for sharing okay uh, that will uh, i think uh, uh, connect, people will be able to connect with you who are serious for the gate exam mainly i think they will be directly connected with you uh, so let me take some uh, some of the question from audience also uh, let me start with first one from suraj is asking okay uh, how many questions you attempted in gate exam uh, i don't remember, really remember how many questions but uh, i got 68 out of 100 uh, probably in the 50 55 technical section i attempted uh, like maybe it was 45 or something i don't really remember the number of questions i attempted okay uh, uh, so before preparing for the gate exam uh, maybe uh, last year maybe you, uh, you check out okay the pattern of iit kharagpur so from there itself do you check the pattern of iit kharagpur means uh, and uh, how you predicted that number, the type of questions uh, i didn't really predict the type of question but um, actually to be honest i don't believe in that that uh, the type of question to, in 2006 or 2014 came will be the same type in 2020 i don't really believe that i think uh, obviously iit isc is that uh, way too smart than we are so they can easily change the pattern there, there is no point of thinking that that is a type of iit kharagpur as i believe because many people do uh, my friends used to uh, analyze those questions of kharagpur and all but i didn't really believe in that uh, because if, if if i mean if we really can predict the type of question from analyzing previous kharagpur questions won't they just change the pattern they are way too smart than we are so but but definitely i knew that there was difficult questions in kharagpur papers like in 2014 there was a question of qc which what was pretty hard than usual years and uh, there was probably a question of non linear pipeline that was also from kharagpur paper i remember so, so there are some some tricky questions used to come from kharagpur papers i know you that so but otherwise i didn't really prepare for specifically for kharagpur pattern or anything okay we just uh, we do not look at that really would like to recommend everyone to that uh, as per my philosophy i don't think it's necessary or it's actually working to uh, analyze patterns of different iit there's no point in that the i i guess the committee also uh, is made up of every institution uh, members and and the question pattern really depends on how they think not not how they how you are analyzing them from different institutions okay uh, before uh, taking the answer for this question from your side let me uh, let me reply to this question my from my side actually first then i will come to you uh, uh, sure. then i will only come to you uh, so uh, satya uh, satya ranjan actually uh, uh, geeks or geeks is also providing the test series if you want to join the test series uh, you can check out on our website that is available and uh, we are actually uh, we have our own uh, gate live course also and uh, that is uh, uh, the the price of the course is 12000 only uh, if uh, if you want to check out that course you can go to the description and uh, in that course actually you will not get the recorded material you will get the recorded material for all the subjects and uh, not, or not only that you will get the live assistance from the people who are right now studying in iit or uh, uh experienced faculty actually you will get the assistance live assistance i will say daily you can ask your doubts you can go to go through the recorded videos if you are facing any problem you are facing any problem in pyq then you can daily you can uh, ask you can connect with uh, with the people who are uh, in iit you can directly connect with them and uh, you can ask the question directly from them okay uh, tathagat uh, before taking this question i i would like to ask uh, so take your suggestion uh, um, on our program itself okay uh, let me let me share you little detail up about our program uh, what we are doing at gigs or gigs uh, so actually there is no need uh, no need for that i guess every gate aspirant or every uh, computer science engineer has checked gigs or gigs in a numerous number of times or as i say is the only is the website we have checked the most or number of times in our life and uh, definitely mm-hmm. i also solved those questions i mean uh, and also the, uh, let me mention that the first time i solved those pyqs it's only from uh, this site so 
uh, uh, it's definitely very helpful and and uh, it, uh, at the most important part is uh, i you actually used to solve those questions in 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 random times on from my mobile so i i didn't really plan for the test and all i just randomly at any time i think now i will opt for this test and i used to go so it definitely helped me. yeah then actually geeks or geeks is set up for uh, uh, set up in such a way that okay uh, uh, so that if we can reach to each and every student and we can provide uh, we can uh, help him in any way actually uh, this is how actually our uh, founder uh, sandeep jain actually believe that this thing actually uh, that thing is coming from him itself uh, he want to maybe uh, he want to uh, focus on even the weakest student should get benefit from uh, from means uh, the education education system should not be for just for the the people the rich people i will say okay that should be for exactly. each and every student let's suppose exactly. you have you haven't you haven't prepared in your schooling time you do not do hard work in your school time but right now you want to do hard work and uh, but you must have weapons means uh, you must have uh, uh, knowledge with you you have must have material with you so that you can start preparation right now itself even though maybe you do not prepare while you are uh, schooling but right now if you want to put hard work and you want to change your life then uh, geeks or geeks is providing all that material so that you can change your life and actually earlier uh, uh, there was no course in in gate uh, gate area from geeks or geeks but right now we are providing live course in gate also uh, so i will try to i i just want to take again your feedback on this pattern uh, again i am asking the same question i would like to take your feedback like uh, uh, we have uh, recorded materials for all the subjects and then uh, on daily basis uh, we are providing means uh, daily basis you can ask the queries uh, to the people who are studying in iit your very experienced mm -hmm. faculty mm -hmm. so you have material with you you have uh, all the uh, quiz uh, test questions and uh, test series with you and uh, you can ask the query on daily basis to the people from iit do you think uh, this can help to clear the gate exam in, with good definitely sir. definitely definitely i just uh, like to share my point in there uh, when I used to opt for the test series and, and after each test, I used to find some flaws and gaps in my concept. So that's the point of uh, revision. And I used to just go to that video of that topic. That's really helpful. That much of video I watch. And even I remember a few cases when uh, I, I got the uh, uh, MCQ wrong and couldn't really find out how. So uh, so I uh, used that doubt sessions and, and I posted those questions and that helped really a lot. I mean, this is the last two months phase when, when it's really the most helpful. I mean, I uh, can't really thank enough uh, for the help. Okay, so in the last two months, we have to go for test series. Yeah, and I, I would like to suggest even before that, if you can. I was a bit late, I, I guess. So I would like to definitely suggest that go go that. If, if you have completed the syllabus, uh, not, really, not really necessary to complete it com I mean, totally. Uh, if you if you are completing each subject or for the topic wise subject test and uh, and then later on just as soon as you complete the whole syllabus go for full and mock test don't wait for that much long i guess i was late okay uh, one question is from archita she is asking okay now how to prepare for math and aptitude okay math and aptitude let me first say for aptitude um, aptitude is uh, mostly of practice. I mean, it's not really that much hard question that uh, you need to prepare differently. But uh, practice is important because because of accuracy. So what I did, I uh, for the last two months, I used to have half an hour or 45 minutes session every uh, afternoon. Like I used to sit uh, from 4 p.m. to 4:45, I guess, or sometimes 5 maybe. And for th for that uh, one hour moment, I just used to solve aptitude questions from different sources. There are many sources available out there, even uh, on Geeks for Geeks are available. So just solve aptitude questions, and in that session particularly, that helps a lot, I believe, and puts puts you up to the accuracy level. And and that's the only thing needed in case of aptitude. You just need to solve the questions in time. Otherwise, the questions are not really that much difficult. Uh, although this year it was a bit, but still solvable, I guess, if you have practiced at least. And talking about mathematics. So concept is important in case of mathematics. Uh, I guess you are referring to engineering mathematics and discrete mathematics. So uh, 
enjoying math there the, i guess three or four marks uh, is uh, comes from enjoying math is not that much but you still have to study the all the three topics like linear algebra calculus and probability so study them and i would like to suggest yeah that, that's the same thing practice uh, don't, don't really bound for one hour but there are different concepts like if you are talking about limits or calculus there are different patterns of question that comes from those sections so i guess you uh, it's not really a matter of time in this case you have to solve all those type patterns and types you have to get accustomed how to solve different ideas in that case so in this way i guess it helps uh, but yes definitely uh, practice math in uh, in both of these cases is definitely necessary and also in discrete mathematics too uh, there are different like combinatorics graph theory you, you know, there are very very various types of questions in graph theory different ideas different concepts and uh, and different like uh, counting uh, i was shocked one at one point of time for one month of grade exam probably some it was some sort of uh, counting the cycles question in in a graph probably it was peterson's graph so that's when i realized that there are still many topics left and i need to study a lot so practice well and study different okay one one other question is from sakshi uh, she, uh, she wanted to ask about the strategy while preparing for a particular subject what was your strategy strategy of well i would like to say that uh, it's my point that i don't really like Uh, gaps or 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 pauses in between studying a subject. I like when I start a subject, my goal is to finish it uninter with uninterrupt. Uh, uh, because I mean, when I was preparing for with college, definitely there are points when I used to have assignments and and presentation topics and internals and all. But my goal was that I don't like to uh, put a break in between. So complete the subject one go. Because when you have flaws or uh, conceptual gaps in the subject, going back and uh, filling those gaps is much harder than completing in one, one go so start uniformly and complete the subject totally and uh, and and after completing each section of course practice in situ never think that uh, starting a subject i will read it completely and then will start seeing in situ not really and practicing is definitely necessary so complete like talking about you see you have completed regular languages so practice regular language in situ then and yes you go for pda and see about but uh, practice is also necessary it also helps you revising those things and and keeping you memorized with those topics so uh, it's necessary okay uh, so uh, i have a little uh, little bit one hard question for you right now uh, the question is actually uh, in which category okay would you like to put yourself keep yourself you were topper average or weak student while schooling as well as while you are btech right now you are btech or maybe while schooling So, in which category? What type of student you are actually, and you were while schooling? Uh, I guess it's it it is really hard because no one can judge himself. I don't think I'm the right person to say that. Uh, I definitely am not. And, and talking about in my and my BTEC CGPA, I guess if any one of my college friends uh, are serious, uh, I definitely can never say myself topper because I'm nowhere being in the topper list. i will say in my btech i am average uh, because there are friends i mean uh, the good thing is in from so there are five rankers in gate computer science from our batch this year in our college so uh, uh, definitely uh, from in case of in 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 there in this moment i won't say myself as a topper because some of them like one of my friends as deep as he has the highest cgpa probably he got some 9.7 or something so i am not no one near by him so I would say average in my PTEC. Okay, so you are saying that okay, uh, every student can also get AI at twenty one. Uh, definitely, if you work hard. Okay. Okay, so uh, as we mentioned that okay, uh, uh, this was a very long journey of gate preparation. One point five years you mentioned, and even before that, a uh, little bit you started actually. You you were saying two years even. So, uh, did you face uh, any failure while while this long gate journey? Uh, Means you definitely. completely demotivated. You are saying that okay, I'm going to give up now, like that. No, no. no. So those are two different. Things. I mean, yes, I faced failure. Uh, I I'm going to say that definitely. But uh, there was no point of time when I said that no, I'm leaving. No, I'm, I wasn't at all ready for that. Uh, that's different psychology. I have that psychology that I won't I won't really give up on anything. um and even if i face the deadliest failures 
I will just keep on going. So those are different things. But let me say about the failures. Uh, first of all, the phases of demotivation were there. When, when, because uh, as I say, I, I used to say to my friends too, because when you are a, like great exam is a marathon. It's not really a short sprint. It's it's not a, a walk of two months or two weeks or anything. It's, it's a long journey. And uh, in case of long journey, the most important battle is mental strength. When you see around yourself, your friends, some of the friends will be doing machine learning models. Some of them will be building web development projects or, or anyone else will be uh, getting three star or four star in competitive programming or even five star. So, and, and what you are doing at the end of the day, you are completing subject, uh, doing MCQ and at the end of the day, you won't really see anything. And let me say, if you uh, open social media, some, some social media portals or, or uh, may I say LinkedIn, because LinkedIn is a very professional platform, you will, you will see there also everyone is successful. Everyone is doing the, this and that and everything. And you won't really have anything to say about that. Uh, that you don't uh, really have time for building uh, uh, more machine learning models or anything. So at the end of the day, sometimes you see that you are not doing at all. Anything. There is no progress in your part. But that's not true. It's not def that's definitely not true. Solving MCQs from three months or four months or even five months is uh, it's not nothing. You have to believe in that. You have to say to yourself that, uh, you are preparing for those three hours and those are those are going to be pretty good and their outcomes will be pretty good much bigger than uh, some machine learning models or anything so you have to believe in that and their, the point is their goals are different your goals are different their goals are seen in short duration not yours so you have to uh, keep your trust in the system and tell yourself to keep doing this keep doing this it's a long run it's a marathon so that, that's, that's the most important thing as i feel the mental state you have to keep your mental state not really get distracted from your surroundings and there will be much much when you are talking about this much longer run there will be much more distractions than you imagine so uh, get yourself mentally stable enough i mean i'm saying this because one of my seniors in my college uh, suggested me this and probably i will say that's one of the best advice i ever had received and helped me a lot i was i i, I took her words seriously and i got ready for that uh, yes i will have to face this and it helped it did help me and uh, yes, and talking about failure, um, yeah, I will just say uh, my test series ready. Uh, I I used to have horrible tests, horrible test series. I mean, I had really horrible test series. I used to have four five months negative, uh, and and I remember in one of the tests, even even in the last month, I, in one of the tests, I got probably less than sixty two, and I I used to prepare with my friends. I mean, as I said, Akash Mundu, yeah yeah, he's also yeah fifty two. And some of other friends, my uh, that, 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 yeah, like my college friends, Niraj Jaiswal, yeah, 49 and all. So I used to prepare with them and uh, they, they used to have good marks, pretty good marks. Like like usually what they should. And as I feel, I should too, but I couldn't. So I used to have horrible test series, but that trigger, that, that did uh, uh, put a fear in me. I, I was afraid of that. What is happening? This shouldn't happen. But, but uh, I wasn't really triggered to mess up my exam. Rather than what I feel, I mean, uh, that's a different case, but I, as I feel, uh, that helped me in uh, getting over my nervousness because I have zero negative marks in gate exam. So as I feel for that test series, I was really way too much cautious than uh, any, any usual aspirant is. So that helped me in gate exam, I guess. So, uh, but, but that was a failure point. Like from two months of duration, I was having very low marks in gate exam. Probably... Uh, a very limited number of times, probably three or four times I used to have 75 or up or anything like that. So, uh, otherwise the test series was horrible for the whole two months of duration, very horrible. But uh, it helped me finally. Okay, okay. Uh, that's nice to uh, 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 nice to know all that thing actually, which is which uh, happens with many, many, many students and uh, uh, they think that, okay, uh, we are not improving and uh, they just uh, means they just uh, stop working uh, on their means on their journey, and that that's the problem. Is uh, that is the main problem? What I believe that consistency uh, uh, do not remains there, and uh, that's why uh, they don't get the good rank. It means they do not go till the end. They do hard work. They put lots of hard work, but they do not go till the end. That's in very my, sad because uh, in in my case, uh, we also started preparing with a bunch of friends and there are a number of friends we, when we started preparing for that and uh, as i say only two of us came to all the way to the end so it, it really happens i think 
and there are many friends like five or six friends of us we started together but only two of us came all the way to the end and we both secured uh, two digit rank so uh, i guess it, it is real what you just said sir that very few of them come all the way to the end and and, and it's the only thing you need to secure good ai you have to put through all the barriers and go all the way okay uh, have you appeared for the gate exam earlier also in your third year of college uh, no sir no sir okay this was your first attempt yes sir okay, okay. so i would like to know okay will you please share your overall gate preparation strategy so that everybody can know overall means uh, complete gate preparation strategy okay well complete gate strategy first of all gate examination as i said is a um, prep uh, exam I, i you just used to refer that it's a pfs pattern exam you have to cover all the subjects first of all because there are points when uh, weightage don't really help a lot it never really Keep subject on the basis of weighting. Because this year we saw that from, uh, there were 11 marks on computer networks, which is which was very unusual. But it did. So weightage may change any random year. You, you can't really skip subject with that. So cover all the topics first of all. That was my plan. Yeah. Cover all the topics, all the subject, everything. You, first of all, you have to attempt or at least know the concept behind every question. You. So that was my first point. So it took a long time. I first of all I planned that uh, by June I will finish the subject. i could then the plan extended to july could august and finally completed in the first week of september i guess and bahut late ho gaya sab koi matlab schedule time se late to ho hi jata hai bahut late ho gaya tha mera but yeah finally i completed by uh, first week of september and uh, mera plan was aisa tha ki uh, first of all i uh, study the subject study the topic solve some mcq study another topic solve another mcq and three or four topics combined I mean this complete we complete the subject and then put for some uh, subject wise test And there are if if there are some mistakes some some point when when I feel fail that uh, these concepts are not really up to that much level so yeah I used to mark them and go for the next subject and put one or two hours in the day session when I used to go back and read that topic again and, and solve the answer so that's the revision phase kept on revising and I started with TOC so when I completed uh, TOC then then I went for programming and data structure and went back to read the undecidability part of Turing machine because I used to have some problems with that. so that's how i started completing the subject each and every subject and go back and revise the previous one uh, when i whenever i am and studying a subject i used to have one or two session uh, one or two hour session in a day when i used to go back and read the previous copy even if i don't have any issues just go back and read the copy nothing else. uh you don't really need one one, one hour uh, 30 hours uh, it's only so 30 minutes uh, uh, every day of a week and uh, you can revise the complete subject i guess uh, if you don't have any issues if you don't want to go to that day then yes uh, completing all the subjects by september first week is pretty good i guess uh, as i feel because then i started uh, opting for the test series questions and uh, i guess everything went all yeah. and revision is very important, very important number many number of times as, as much as you can so i would like to know okay uh, the duration uh, up to uh, up to when you first completed your syllabus means you go through all the subjects and after up to how, how many time you, uh, you revise it up to which period means in up to which month you uh, completed your revision also and after and when in which month you started for the uh, test series so can you give us give us the timeline also well i uh, started opting for the full length test probably first week of november i guess so i i started uh, studying for the full length test and um, As I said, ki September to November gap, I used to revise them all and offer the rest of the, some of the subject-wise tests were there which was left. So I used to uh, do those subjects, and actually it takes much longer than we feel to revise the subject. It's a lot of syllabus. Yes. Okay, so first of all, I thought ki uh, uh, three four weeks me ho jayega syllabus uh, revision, but it's not that. It takes much longer because you have to go. Th- but by the by the time I complete the syllabus, the first subject I did was TOC, and I forgot many of the topics. Not really forgot. At least I was out of touch. So I have to go them again thoroughly. So it takes a long process to revise them all, and a number of times, like three or four times, it takes revision after you get uh, really habituated with all the subjects, all the concepts at the same time. Because uh, full length, the only trigger in full length test is that uh, they are asking you questions from different topics at the same time. So you have to be at your uh, peak of reflex. Uh, that's the important part. So yeah. those two ones i used to revise there and offer the small, small subject wise tests and all 
and uh, from november i used to sit for the full length test or uh, when i sit for the full length test, it takes much time like 6 okay uh, your hello sir ha uh, yes yes thakur okay fine uh, uh one uh, one or two last question from my side one is okay what are your your future plans means you want to join bsu or you want to uh, go for iit or any any other plan from your side maybe you want to prefer uh, prepare for uh, now uh, uh upsc like that um not really i am too much focused on science so i will definitely go for mtech and i'm very intrigued by uh, engineering and computer science itself so definitely i will go for mtech but i am not really sure at this point ki isc or iit b uh, our confusions are there every morning i wake up i feel either isc or next day iit b so i'm really doubtful about that but definitely one of these two okay okay and uh, one last uh, question from my side uh, actually uh, any message for gate 2023 aspirants from your side um the, those two points which i mentioned earlier ki in the subject preparation don't take any subject loose uh, don't take any subject loosely because you don't know at all about the weightage that is going to come in the next year so uh, uh, provide equal weightage to each of them as i feel and uh, secondly uh, which i uh, pointed out previously ki uh uh get yourself mentally strong to fight the battle it's a battle it's a battle not not of really completing subject it's a not semester exam so uh, uh get yourself uh, stable and steady to go all the way because uh, many people uh, start the start the journey but very few of them finish so uh, go all the way yeah do the finishing job that's important yeah so again the consistency is is very important actually in exactly. the okay uh thank you tahagat for uh, sharing uh, uh, all that information with our uh, gate aspirants with our audience uh, i hope they will get uh, uh, they will they will be able to connect with you uh, you share the pics uh, of your journey maybe they will be able to connect with their own own journey so they will get motivation from you they they, they can now relate that okay uh if i uh, thagat who say that i'm i'm an average student i can get ai at 21 so so we are we can also get it's uh, it's like that okay definitely uh, sir definitely it's just so, a game of hard work you work hard you can do it. it's okay. not really a privilege for anyone so get is a get is a uh, and get hard work is required then no, no shortcut is definitely. there there is no cheat there is no cheat sheet there is no it's, cheat exactly yeah okay okay tadaka thank you thank you for joining us thank you for sharing all that information i hope all this information will help uh, many many get 2023 aspirants they will uh, get benefit from uh, whatever you have shared they will get benefit from that thank you for sharing and uh, your great journey with us thank, thank you, you once sir. again thank you for this opportunity it was wonderful session and talking to you is another level of pleasure so thank you very much okay thank you thank you tadaka so let me wind up this session now uh, so if you people uh, like this session first of all please uh, like it and uh, so that they, that can reach to maximum students who are preparing for the gate exam uh, and uh, also please uh, subscribe the channel so that uh, you can uh, get the notification for future sessions of the, the same type of session or maybe subject wise knowledge session uh, let me uh, i have one more announcement for you people if you are uh, preparing for triple it hyderabad post graduate entrance test then we are coming up with a new series on that on we are coming with the revision series means uh, every day you will uh, get the uh, get one video lecture on one subject every day uh, that the the, uh, the mentor will help you to revise all the syllabus for triple it hyderabad post graduate entrance exam so the series will be launched from 5th so if you want to join that that series free you can join that and you can uh, prepare yourself and if you want to join our gate course gate live course in which we are providing complete 
uh, recorded material as well as live assistance from the people from IIT and uh, highly experienced faculty, then uh, you can go to the description and uh, you can check out that that course also. Right now, uh, summer Carvin, Carvin, uh, carnival is going on, so you can get discounts also from there. Uh, okay, uh, that's it. I think from my side. Thank you, thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you.